All right, guys, so today on this episode, we are gonna be doing a really big project. And uh, this is one of the biggest builds right now on YouTube, as well as all social media. This is the actual P1 for Tavares' channel. So they reached out to the channel and to Mitchell Collision. They want us to go ahead and take care of the paintwork. You know I'm the candy man, so they're in the right place. So we are gonna be shooting the hood right now, and this hood is gonna be displayed at the SEMA show this year. So while you're seeing this video, make sure you check out all the other social media stuff because it's gonna be all over the internet right now, this car. And uh, we're gonna be doing the hood on this video here, getting it ready for them. So this is a one-off custom piece that they had made for the car in uh, carbon fiber. So right now we're gonna be shooting the hood only. And then once the car is fully back from SEMA and they get everything else handled on it, we are gonna be doing the full body on it. But in this video here, we are gonna handle the hood, get it ready. That way they can ship it out to SEMA. We can display it, do the unveiling, and everybody's gonna hopefully love this color and uh, we're gonna get a good outcome on it. All right, so this here's the hood and this is a one-off custom made hood they had made for the car and uh, they did a phenomenal job on this one. So first thing we're gonna be doing is sanding it down and then masking off the underneath. They wanna leave this, the regular exposed carbon because some of the car is gonna be carbon and then some of the car is gonna be the paint. So. We are doing a one-off custom job on this with the candy. And uh, we're gonna add a little spice to it and give it really something to make it pop out in the sun. I was talking to uh, Tavares and that's what he wants on it. And that's what we're gonna do. So I'm really, really privileged to be a part of this build. This is a very big moment for me in my career, working on something like this. And uh, we're gonna do our best on it for the channel as well as the shop. You guys know how we do things. We try to do our best and that's what we're gonna do on this one. So. First thing we'll do is get it sanded. We're gonna hit this with like a 600 grit, get a good scratch in it and uh, mask off the bottom. So let's do it. All right, now that we've got it all sanded down, you guys seen I outlined it before I sanded it. I wanted to make sure I had a nice, clean, crisp edge. That way I can scuff up to the actual fine line. You guys see we use the fine line on that. That way we get a nice edge on it. And uh, I did all that first. I sanded it all down, blew it off before I masked the bottom. I don't want to have any uh, chance of having dust sticking to that paper. So now that it's all blown, we're going to go ahead and flip it back over and mask off the bottom. And then we'll get it on the stand because we're gonna have to paint this from the bottom as well as the top to get down deep into some of these holes. These are very deep holes and they're gonna be hard to get into and make sure we get them fully coated with the candy. So let's go ahead and flip it, mask it off, and then we'll be in the booth getting this thing shot. All right, so now we've got it fully clean and we use the waterborne cleaner that's gonna help cut down on the static. And uh, we've done it twice now. We wanna make sure we have no cloudiness on this here panel because we're gonna be moving into all clear products. We're gonna be putting down a custom effect 
and then we're gonna be moving into the candy on this one. So I can't wait to get this thing finished up. Wish me luck. I think it's gonna come out beautiful and uh, we're gonna be representing for the channel as well as Brian. You guys know once we get the body on this one, we're gonna be getting him involved in helping out, spraying the body, all the pieces, because he already did a lot of work to the actual body of this thing by double clearing it and getting it flat and straight. So let's go ahead and get into this one. All right, so that's the effect on there. And I'm not gonna let you guys know, we're gonna keep this one a secret for what we put down on this as an effect coat. So if you guys think you know, go ahead and leave it in the comments and let me know what you guys think we did to give this effect. But now we're gonna be moving into the candy and we are using a true UK candy on this one. We're not playing any games, putting down fake candies or base coat candies. This is a true house of colors, urethane. This is the biggest build. So I gotta leave it up to the man himself to let you guys know what we did to it. So. Let's go ahead and apply the candy. All right, so far so good. You wanna go easy on your first coat of candy. That way you can put it on nicely and introduce it to the panel. Don't go in there pounding it on when you're doing a candy paint job. So you can always put more on with a candy, but you can't take it off. So realize that this is a true candy, which means it is wet from the minute you put the candy on the vehicle. And if you have a problem, you're done. You got to start back over and redo the job. Let it dry or bake it if you're in a controlled environment like we are here. So we've got our fingers crossed and uh, right now we've got a nice easy light coat of candy on there because we got to get it from the back side as well to get up into those vents because they're deep down in there and it's not an easy job so we've got one coat on it looks nice i showed it to you guys but we're going to build up to about four coats of the candy on this one to really get the effect that we're looking for because with that true candy being it's in a clear coat it builds up mills just like clear does so if you have that clear coat above the base with a true candy you have the depth. That's what makes a true candy look the way that it does. If you put that candy in a base clear, it's thin and you will not get the look that you want out of a true candy paint job. So it takes time, it takes experience and it takes having your fingers crossed, but I think we're gonna be able to pull this one off. So let's go ahead and put on coat two. put four nice coats. When I start out, I go nice and uh, light, and then I start building up and putting it on wetter and wetter. Once you get covered with a candy, you can start putting it on wet. That way you do not have as many chances of having any streaks in it. So that is a nice product, but you gotta know what you're doing with it because it can definitely get into a world of trouble with it. So now that we got the four coats on there, we're gonna let that set up and we're gonna hit it with our clear. That's when I'll bring you guys in there and show you the effect that we have on this here color and uh, it's really gonna make it pop. So let's let this set up. You wanna make sure you let your candy set up well in between coats, especially now before we clear it. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit it and you guys will see it all finished up.
right, so that's the job all finished up. Let me know in the comments if you can see the effect. I'm not sure that I see it through the camera lens. And uh, this is definitely gonna be a one of a kind car for sure. Not only with the paint, but the engine and all the stuff that he's doing to this car to beat the world speed record and all that stuff. So I'm really happy to be involved with it. And uh, this thing's gonna be getting buffed out a little bit and then sent off to SEMA. And uh, hopefully I'll get some pics of that with it there with some of my guys that are uh, fans of the channel. Go ahead and get yourself some pics with the actual hood at SEMA if you guys are there. My man Josh Refinish, hook me up and uh, get me some pictures with you and send them my way. So I hope you guys like this one. We'll see you guys on the next one.